Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. EQA Nostalgia here with some very good news. I'm sure some of you are already aware, but H Hour was greenlit on Steam yesterday. Now, this does not come as a surprise to me at all because our community completely kicks ass. Nevertheless, I want to take time to say thank you to everybody who voted. And, you know, it happened really rapidly, and I knew it would. But there seemed to be a little bit of trouble in the way that people that were trying to sign up for Steam that were not signed up previously... They had to purchase a game in order to log in and vote. and At least that's what I've heard. I haven't, To be quite frank, I haven't looked into it. But yeah, I've seen a lot of people that have just been uh, really irate in their comments saying that they had to purchase a 99 cent game. It's not really a big deal, but it is an inconvenience, and it almost certainly slows things down a bit. I myself, I've been a member of Steam for a long time, so I didn't encounter any problems naturally because I have several games in the Steam library, and I recommend you guys do the same thing because Steam kicks ass. And you know what? I was thinking about this uh, a little bit earlier. People that signed up for Steam just to vote for H Hour, they're gonna they're gonna see some Steam sales and they're gonna get sucked into the Steam machine. It's gonna have it's inevitable, man. Steam sales are like that. You know, you see a game and it's so cheap, and even if you really don't want it, you're like, damn, I can't pass that up. It's like two dollars. So yeah, people are going to start getting getting drawn into that, I'm, I'm pretty positive. But uh, yeah, it's, it's on a side note, but it, it is pretty cool, and, and I think it's pretty superior to what's going on with consoles in many ways, and that's why I play my PC a lot, and I need to upgrade. Because cheap games are for the win, my friends. Cheap games are for the win. You just can't beat that kind of shit. But yeah, anyway, they had an April Fool's video, and I thought that was pretty funny. If you haven't seen that, make sure you head over to the official... H Hour or SOF Studios, rather, the YouTube page. I'll link that in the description. Make sure you watch that. It's it's worth a little chuckle. Now, the live stream event that was scheduled about a week ago was canceled due to some uh, technical issues with the weather, and I had not made a video about that. But I'm sure most of you are aware. But I don't think they've commented yet on when they plan on doing it again. They did mention that they wanted to do it again, and I just assumed that it would be sometime after the green light on Steam was a success. So, hopefully we'll be seeing that very soon. And, you know, maybe it's just as well because they were supposed to have a few special guests that kind of dropped out at the last minute there, so hopefully they will be in the next live stream. Now, there was one special guest who actually showed up, but we didn't get to hear from her, and her name is Penka, and I'm not going to try to pronounce her last name because I'll absolutely butcher it, so I'm going to put it up in text. Now, she's a composer, and I believe I've been using one of her pieces already at the end of my videos. And as many of you know, SOCOM always had awesome music, and I was one of the people who was asking questions, hey, are we going to have really good music again? Because not for nothing, that was a big part of SOCOM, and in all my SOCOM videos, and most of my H-Hour videos, I use that SOCOM music. It just gives you that nostalgic feeling, and it just, you know... It just kicks ass. It's SOCOM music. You guys know what I'm saying. It's epic. So hopefully we'll get to hear from her in the next live stream. Breaking news. I just found out that next Thursday, April 10th at 3 p.m., there will be a live stream on the SOF Studios official Twitch page. I was quite literally uploading this video to YouTube when I checked my Twitter feed and just found this out like just now. So I had to stop everything and edit this in, but I'm glad they did that when they did because it allowed me to include it in this video. David Sears mentioned that they will be taking questions from the audience during this live Twitch event. They're also going to share with us the story of how they got the proof of concept done in only six months, which I've mentioned several times was very, very impressive. And naturally we can expect to hear about the future of H Hour and what their plans are. So hopefully you guys will tune in for that. I'm very excited. And I cannot wait. But that just about wraps it up for this one, guys. I hope you will leave a like if you like what you see. If you're new to my channel, I ask that you please subscribe. I thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you all in my next video.